This is the prototype board for the audio recorder project. It's hooked up to cheap, powered PC speakers. Test program 1 just outputs a continuous frequency on the pulse width modulator. I'll compile it and start the program. Yep, plenty annoying. This is program 2. It uses a timer to stop and change the output frequency twice a second. This is next week's project. This program reads an audio file from the SD card and outputs it to the pulse width modulator. How does this work? It's very simple. But watch close. Now here's what happens. How does this work? It's very simple. But watch close. Now here's what happens. How does this work? It's very simple. Now here's what happens. Welcome to part 3 of my digital audio recorder project. Last time we generated simple tones with the pulse width modulator on the MSP430. It sounded something like this. This time we're taking the next step and reading an audio file from a secure digital memory card. The MSP430 reads a raw audio file from the SD card and writes the value to the pulse width modulator where it's converted to an average voltage between 0 and 3 volts. Next, the signal is cleaned and the DC current removed by a simple filter circuit. The output is now ready to drive an amplifier, like a set of powered PC speakers. Here's an example in action, using a short audio clip. How does this work? It's very simple. But what's close? Now here's what happens. How does this work? It's very simple. But what's close? The firmware is really simple. The heart of the program is a timer that sounds an alarm. When the alarm sounds, the microcontroller interrupts whatever it's doing and immediately jumps to a special piece of code. This code copies the next audio byte into the pulse width modulator register. If I set a breakpoint at the beginning of this code, the debugger will pause each time a new value is copied. The ticking you hear is the individual audio samples playing after the breakpoint. Toward the beginning of the code is a simple loop that loads audio bytes from the SD card as they're needed. SD cards are divided into 512 byte chunks, called sectors. After the MSP430 finishes reading one sector, the next has to be initialized before additional data can be read. The code shown here takes care of that. If I set a breakpoint here, the code will pause each time a 512 byte sector is read. If I hover my mouse over the sector counter, you can see current sector increase by one each time the debugger pauses. You can also start to hear some variation in the audio between the breaks. The next line resets the sector read counter to the beginning of the file. If I set a breakpoint here, the file will play to the end and pause. Very simple. But what's close? Now here's what happened. And now we can repeat it from the beginning. How does this work? It's very simple. But what's close? Now here's what happened. That's it for this project. Next time I'll add the ability to record audio. How does this work? It's very simple. Now here's what happens.